Well, good evening. Uh, the Lord bless you today. Um, and welcome to Voice Over the Nations Network. I'm Pastor Apostle Eureka Stewart, uh, coming to you from Bethany Word, Bethany Covenant Alive Ministries International, Toronto. And this is a, a new program, a new show, and I am delighted to uh, be able to bring these uh, messages to you from the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the Holy Ghost, which uh, um, I reverence immensely, and uh, to our Father, the Elohim. I give thanks with much gratitude for all that has gone on this day and all that will go on until this day closes. I give God thanks for you uh, across the networks, across the nations, and those of you in the hearing of my voice. And now I'm going to uh, pray for you and um, as I open this session, um, I am given a ministry of prayer uh, sent to declare the gospel and no other gospel but the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so um, let me just uh, open uh, this uh, session in a word of prayer. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Messiah, and we give you thanks with much gratitude for this gracious hour, O Lord God. And I ask you, O God, for divine order over every section of this network, over every area, over every town, over every village, over every household, over every family. I ask you now, I declare divine order over your bodies, your minds, your souls, and over the activities and the works of your hands. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I give thanks with much gratitude for your attentiveness to the Word of God, for your election of Christ Jesus, for your uh, walk in the Holy Ghost. And I thank God for you today as you listen and as you follow Christ Jesus, even as I follow him. Today's program is a, about the exceptional supremacy of Christ Jesus. I have come to the conclusion that uh, not all who speak the name of Jesus uh, follow him as intently as they ought to. But I am uh, actually, as Paul would say, I'm beseeching you to follow this great master through the Gospels. We uh, believe that anything that he has done before while in this earth realm, he's able to do it again wherever you are. That's why we preach. That's why we pray because we believe with exceptional belief the work of this great master, Christ Jesus. I want to tell you more about him today. Um, uh, even if you think you know about him, I want you to pay attention again and again. I believe that anything that he's done before, that it can happen where you are. And there is something that I want you to do at the outset of this program. Whatever you're experiencing, whatever issues, challenges, problems, setbacks, overturn, downturns, let me beseech you to take your mind today off the problem, shift into another place. Take your mind off the problem and uh, fix it 
on Christ Jesus. For he is exceptionally able to do all and more and more abundantly than you can ever dream or imagine. Apostles are sent to declare the way of Jesus Christ with power. All I ask is that you believe and uh, to the accepting of miracles, I want you to accept miracles in your midst. And Jesus Christ is a power of exceptional dimensions. He's omnipotent. That means that he is everywhere that you are and can be. And so trust this great master as we move through this program. Let me pray for you from uh, the work of the Apostle Paul because I believe that when you have achieved this, this prayer, when you have achieved what the Apostle is asking for you, miracles will become instant. You will expect them, they will happen. There will be evidence of Christ with you. And I thank God for it already for you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I'm going to speak to you from Colossians chapter 1, verses uh, 9. Uh, he's praying for the Colossians and he says, For this reason also, since the day we heard this, we haven't stopped praying for you. We are asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And so that you may walk, so that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. For this Christ Jesus, this Christ Jesus has rescued us from the domain of darkness, transferred us into the kingdom of the Son. We have redemption we have redemption full redemption the forgiveness of sins in him i pray this prayer as i pray often for those in my care and those in in bethany and uh, in the places where i minister I believe in the activation of the gospel through Jesus Christ. I know this is possible. And as I minister in faith, I may not be saying the word. I may not be going to the book of Hebrews to preach on faith, but I will be ministering in faith. And as I minister in faith, things will begin to shift and change to the great glory of him who has sent us. And so now I'm staying with Colossians chapter 1 because it's such an exceptional work, such an earnest prayer of the apostle. I'm talking about the ability of Christ to carry out his promises. 
This is why you need to believe him. This is why you need to follow him. This is why you need to worship and stay close and become intimate with this great son of God. I go now to verse 15. Paul is talking about the, the supremacy of Christ. If you are in a King James, I'm reading from the Hallman Bible. It declares that this Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God. That he is the firstborn of all creation for everything was created by him in heaven and on earth the visible and the invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things have been created through Christ Jesus and for him And so let me say that the dominions and the thrones were created for him and through him. And this, this exceptional son of God, he is before all things and uh, by him all things hold together. He's also the head of the body, the church. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might become, he might come to have first place in everything. For God was pleased to have all fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile everything to himself, by making peace through the blood of his cross, whether things on earth or in heaven. Now this is a, uh, a spectacular word and a claim. What this section, uh, <laughs> Colossians is saying to you is that Christ Jesus, the Father being not a man, has taken on the full likeness, the image of bodily. Your King James Version might say that he, that the, the, the body, he, that the Father dwells in the Son bodily. He is not a, 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 a second-hand copy. He is the first of all things created. And uh, the Father pleased to put his image upon him. Later on, you will hear me say that uh, Jesus is saying, if you have seen me, then you have seen the Father. And so here is where it gets really good for you in that, in that the Father, the Elohim, the Supreme God, Yahweh, has placed upon Christ Jesus, the total image of himself bodily. The exceptional power of the Godhead bodily. And Jesus Christ sent into the earth realm so that you would have a first-hand contact, point of contact with the Father through the Son. You can do this even now by faith, but we will get to that later because we have a journey to take. And I really want to take you on that journey with me. And so, so if then the Father be in the Son, if the Father be in the Son bodily, what it means is that the Father is doing a mighty work through the Son to perform His own will. 
we praise the Lord. It was not possible for Christ Jesus to fail in his ministry. It was not possible because God is infallible and sovereign. Therefore, the spirit of the Father, the Elohim, Jehovah God, moving through the Son, took authority over spheres and stratospheres and uh, 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 hemispheres and over oceans and mountains and all seas, lakes, and over the entire creation. And this is the length and breadth and the supremacy of Christ Jesus, who came in the form of a man. Huh. Here is where you benefit immensely. Here is where you ought to be uh, uh, clapping and shouting because uh, I'm going to ask you at some point to get close to your television screen so you can touch it. Because when I begin to say in faith that the Father is now in the Son and the Son is activating the will of the Father, if you need a healing, you shall be healed. If you need a deliverance, you shall be delivered. Hallelujah. If you need a, 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 a prosperity overturning poverty, miracle performing work it shall happen because he is all sufficient what I want to say to you is that this Christ Jesus then hallelujah because he is not able to fail I'm going to say to you then if you possess the power of Christ Jesus within yourself. You take on the nature of the Son and of the Father at once by the miracle working power of the Holy Ghost. That also makes you, hallelujah, not prone anymore to failure. What I'm saying to you is uh, to, to make a choice. What I'm telling you is exactly so. And this is uh, the transfer. And Jesus Christ was sent into the earth realm to redeem you, to transfer this great kingdom that we call the kingdom of God to you. He spoke in John chapter 10 and 19 and said, Behold, I have given unto you power. With that power, you may do some awesome things, including trample upon venomous snakes. Now, Christ Jesus, as you meet him in the book of Matthew, which I like to call the manifesto of Jesus Christ, you will see the master doing exceptional things. And uh, as some will say, well, he is able to do that because he is the son of God. But he's also transferred that power to you that you may excel in your humanity. You may excel in your humanity to the point of releasing your divinity. Christ Jesus being a, a, your, your exceptional role model internally and externally. In the earth and in heaven, Jesus Christ has given you, release you into the authority that he walked in. Can you bear and dare to believe it? I, 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 I am delighted, I am overjoyed to be speaking to you in this manner because I have seen this firsthand. I have seen waters separate because I believe Christ Jesus 
and I spoke to the water, separate. I've seen the rain came down from heaven because I believed Christ Jesus and I did it. I'm saying not because uh, I am uh, all the apostle that Paul was, or I'm not saying that. I'm saying that this is your inheritance. And so I'm asking you today, I'm asking you to reach for the inheritance. I might have told you more than you can handle today, but the thing about it, uh, uh, my work with you is that uh, I will not preach to you a way that I cannot take you, that I'm not able to lead you. I'm able to lead you in the how, not only the what. Hallelujah. For even as Christ Jesus has said, you will go on to do greater works. As a matter of fact, Christ Jesus is the only master that I know who uh, uh, elevated others above himself, saying that uh, you will go on to do even greater works than I have done. And nobody in the earth realm will do it for you today. As a matter of fact, uh, it, the, 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 you may experience the opposite. But thanks be to the great master. I, 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 I'd like to leave you with a, um, a, a, a prayer. Uh, um, uh, I'd, I'd like to... As Christ Jesus um, prays for us, he prayed for us in John chapter 17. He, um, he's going home, he's leaving the earth realm, he's um, at his Seder, I believe, and uh, he's praying that you be one in him as he is one with the Father. But let me, let me, let me pray uh, uh, for you that these words, that, the, 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 that the, the presence of this exceptional Christ Jesus locates you where you are. And I, I'm, I'm asking you to uh, get closer. I'm asking you to be intent. This is not a, uh, a, 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 a show. This is a, a deep work. I have come to do a work. I expect that uh, you will be transformed, not only in your thoughts, but in the way you understand the Father. In the way that you pray. In the way that you worship. Knowing, not just accepting a word, but knowing that He is able to do Exactly, and more, and more, according to your belief. Exactly what he said he would do. And so, I pray that these wonders of Christ Jesus, uh, uh, by exceptional move of God today, by uh, ever-increasing power, that um, Christ Jesus, by his uh, very presence, has the ability to, to uh, break through the heavens, break through time and space, and get into your situation. I'm asking you then, would you allow this master to come and sit at your table today and where he sat with his uh, disciples would you allow him to do that would you 
uh, make space for him in the living room? Would you allow him to enter the place where he wants to dwell inside the core of your being, the heart? Your life will never be the same. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. You don't want it to be easy because you want to be battle ready. There's some things about apostles. They are battle ready. And so I, I'm going to close and uh, uh, I will see you uh, on the next episode. And uh, I give thanks with much gratitude for the impact and the importation of this word. I love you with the love of Christ and uh, there is one thing that you, you, I must leave you with and that uh, we are the family of God. There is no separation between yourself and myself. There's a there's a, a scripture that I really really love and I you'll hear me speak it more than once and uh, it, it says something like this in Acts 17 and 26 it uh, it declares that uh, Christ uh, the Lord God Elohim took of one blood. Uh, uh, someday we'll talk on that. Took of one blood Acts 17 and 26 made all nations, all men, everywhere, and set them in their habitations. And so, I leave you in the presence of the great Messiah, with the power of the Holy Spirit resting upon you, in the name of Christ Jesus. And I ask that his full mantle rest upon you, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Make sure that you bring your Bibles because when I minister to you, we travel through the Word a bit. I want you to get used to this fantastic document called the Bible want you to get personal and close with it for, for for you will find your story in here somewhere in these pages there's somebody like you and by the grace of God and through the power of this great word you shall be raised up to a new life this I'm asking in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. And so, until next time, this is Apostle Stuart, Bethany Covenant Alive Ministries, Toronto.